this is the Human Microbiome Project here in MetaWeb. And you can see here there are four tabs, uh, an all tab to show all data sets, uh, metabolic reconstruction that shows you the metabolic reconstruction data set subset, um, the hybrid assembly, and some mock data sets that we use for testing and for annotation pipeline evaluation. So um, with, in addition here is some meta information um, that is shown to you here. So let's look at one of these hybrid assemblies. So to analyze the data set, we, we will start looking at uh, an analysis option of individual data sets. Later we will go into comparison of multiple data sets. So let's look at one of these data sets. So we go to the view action. So we select the view action here. And this gives you now um, the basic annotation information in the first tab, the data tab here. Um, it shows you all the basic annotation data types. Um, you can scroll down and browse through this. Um, then here, these are all the data types. So let's click on the species. Um, and then you get here for that data set, you get a species breakdown. You get a histogram here. Um, so the unresolved means it could not resolve it on the species taxonomic level. Unassigned means that there was no taxonomic assignment at all. And um, you can adjust here how many um, how many categories you want to have shown, and you can then export this information here to um, in a in a usable format that gives you the absolute and relative counts here for each of these categories. Now you can go on with this and with the other features here as well. So now let's go back and look at a different feature. We use here the navigation up here to go back to the project. Let's look at the search. So how can you search this data set? Let's go here to the search. So by default, it shows you everything. Uh, it searched for all entries. So it gives you here the numbers and the data set hits that have been found. So let's search for several lays. And so once you hit then enter here, so by default it searches the common name field. So you can see here in this data set you have 37 hits. So what, what the com uh, search page does is it gives you a first top 10 list um, of these basic data types um, that can be found for this query. So here for cellulase, the, the top species here after the unresolved categories is the ruminococcus, for example, and, and so forth. Um, so you get the top 10 list, then you get um, the summary in, in the form of a pie chart um, as well. And at the bottom you see the, um, the results, the annotation results. So you see here the common name, all of them have the cellulase word in it. So now you can export this information as well. So you can click on this and um, you get all this uh, top 10 summaries here. Um, you can do the same here um, for the results. And this gives you then the IDs that were matched uh, for your query. And it stores the query as well in there. So now let's look at um, some other examples. So you can, for example, look at a certain enzyme. Um, here you can select from the drop down several fields. So you can search by several IDs, distinct ID types, or by name. So let's search for enzyme ID. And then it automatically generates this kind of weird looking uh, text. But it, this is um, the query syntax that's used in behind. So if you use this in combination with this drop down, it automatically generates this for, the, for you. So now you get all the summaries for this certain enzyme. So now let's look at um, tetracycline. And then we want to look into a certain pathway. So we go here down to the CAC pathway name. And then automatically what it does, it looks up the pathway that matches your description and then decomposes this into enzymes. So now it searches here this tetracycline biosynthesis pathway. Again, you get here the, the, plot, uh, the species and um, the other summaries as well. So now you can do, um, you can write your own queries. For example, the PLAS tree is encoding the whole NCBI taxonomy based on the PLAS results. Um, so, for example, all the clastridia, this is the genus clastridia, it's um, 485, 1485. So now you can do something like this. Um, that means give me 
give me all the uh, clostridia that have this um, this tetracycline uh, pathway. So you can see here we have all the clostridia here. Um, so this is uh, uh, an example, or several or several examples of how you can search the data set. Let's go back and show you some examples how you can browse the data. Um, for this, we take a metabolic reconstruction data set and we select browse CAC pathways. So now, on the left hand side here, it shows you that uh, you can narrow it down with a search term, and uh, down uh, below you have that here you have uh, the hierarchy that you can browse. And on the right hand side, you get the summary for that, for the selected um, level. So let's um, dig down here, let's go to uh, the metabolism level. Um, so it gives you then the, the summary of all the sub, um, the children of this term, um, gives you here the breakdown, then it gives you all the, again, the top 10 summaries of the species that are associated with metabolism. So let's go farther down, let's go to um, energy metabolism. And so you, again, you can export this information here. Um, and if you go down to that, when we go down to the pathway level, what you then get is, um, like Curtis showed previously, you get these, um, you get pathway maps now here you get, uh, you see the enzymes highlighted that can be found in the data set, um, and below you see the abundance in form of a histogram. Um, so you can export um, these enzymes and the distribution here, and so again you can then here um, limit limit, um, for example, the whole tree to streptococci, um, and then click filter. And then now you have here, you can see it here in the, in the species already, in the species tab, these are all streptococci. Now um, you can browse this the same way and it keeps, it is still selected as streptococci, so you, you have now selected a subset of the data that you control into. Okay. So let's go back and show you probably most one of the most useful features here is how can you compare how do you compare multiple data sets? So let's start with some hybrid assembly data set. Again we select here the action, select the compare. And then here on the right hand side you see these are all the data sets that are available. So this include hybrid mock and uh, metabolic reconstruction. So we want to narrow this down to the hybrid. So we take HPR in there, and then we have all the hybrid data sets. So then we can start selecting, or we can drag them over. And that's how we select the data set. Now we can hit here on the update button, and then we get here um, below the result panel where it shows the comparison. Um, so now here the first tab that's automatically selected is the taxonomy tab. So what you can do here is you can um, adjust here the level of the taxonomy, for example. So you can select the class, and then it expands here, and uh, you can compare these samples based on the uh, taxonomy on the class level. Um, so you can export the data if you click on this disk, and then you <laughs> get the absolute count. So you get here the data sets listed, and then the absolute count for the classes for the taxonomy classes. Um, this menu here allows you to adjust the data, how it's being represented. So you can select, for example, relative counts. What happens then is if each data set gets normalized by the overall count, um, you can export this data as well. So now you can use heat map counts. And now this gives you then, um, it relates to each cell to the row, to the, to the sum of the raw normalized count. So it gives you a proportion how much each each individual sample contributes to each row. So this gives you a, a it's, it's good for um, 
for, for visualizing the differences. So you can change here, um, you, know, you can change the color how you want to have this displayed. 